So Sean Strickland decided to come out during the UFC 297 interview he had in Canada and basically expressed some views that really pissed some people off. Some of the things he said were borderline homophobic and transphobic, and my views on the table, I could care less if you're trans, I could care less if you're gay. But we had UFC champions in the past, such as Khabib Nurmagomedov, who comes from Kazakhstan, and they're much less accepting of gay and LGBTQ rights. I just want there to be some perspective here. We've had other UFC champions who are far worse in their views than Sean Strickland, and even now we're having people trying to come and cancel him. And by cancel him, have him being stripped of his title, which he fought and worked his whole life for. And that's wrong. Call me crazy, I think that people in the UFC shouldn't really be there to actually defend one political ideology or another, especially because it's a worldwide sport. Say if we have a UFC champion in the future who's from Iran. They throw gay people off roofs in Iran. So for people to come after Sean Strickland and acting like he's somehow the Antichrist and saying that, oh, I don't, you know, particularly I'm not too fond of transgender people. I mean, it is what it is, man. We can revile him or like him. If you don't like him, don't buy his pay-per-views. Don't even pay attention to him. That's how you actually hurt him financially. He also went into the Canadian government basically being authoritarians during the lockdowns we had. And they were being authoritarian by seizing people's bank accounts. I don't know how that's controversial to say. Also, we've had way worse UFC champions as far as their rap sheet is concerned. Anyone else remember a little man by the name of John Jones? Oh wait, this dude beats his wife and snorts cocaine, cheats on her, and all these other things. But he presented to the media what everyone loves, which is like, oh, I love the Bible. Oh, I, you know, I'm just a good person. I just, you know, stop crime and all this stuff. He was, and that's not who he really is. At least with John Jones, you see. He's just a liar, and that's not how he actually acts in real life. With Sean Strickland, you get the whole package. He's actually not trying to pretend to be somebody's, somebody else. Versus everyone else is just full of shit. I guarantee you George St. Pierre isn't the person he says he is, or any of these people who are UFC champions. It's The crazy part is, we actually have a UFC champion actually showing who they really are. And that's actually what I like about Sean Strickland. Doesn't mean I like who he is, doesn't mean I agree who he is, but this is who he is.